Lads and ladies, it is I, Roy Olivia, and look at Mitchell right there in the middle. He played 90 minutes against Coventry last week, and no news of an injury of any kind, and then as Millwall announced a fucking team shoot for the Sheffield United match, they also announced that Mitchell sustained an ankle injury during the Coventry game and is out of action, and I'm just like, it's fucking fantastic. No one let me know, which is incredibly rude because it kills one of my lineups first thing on a Saturday morning, which, uh you know, is not fun. Even more annoying when you consider Vogelsammer, who was my next option in this lineup, went on to get two assists, but hey, I guess it didn't matter in the grand scheme of things as Sanchez and Biena were painers in my ass with shit scores. I actually ended up selling Biena for a little bit of profit after this, so his time in the club was very short-lived. But okay, Millwall then actually went out and beat second in the league, Sheffield United 3-2. Great win for them, getting me off to a solid start in cap 240. Obviously, Long and McNamara's scores aren't fantastic, conceding two goals in the process, but overall, an impressive result. So now, it was all up to new signing Vlasic to not have a stinker for Torino and I'm looking ripe and rosy for that threshold baby oh yeah and I actually got Vlasic in specifically to squeeze into the 240 points cap this week Torino are against one of the weaker opponents in the league so if we go and check the news on their lineup we can see that Vlasic has uh, been ruled out an hour before kickoff with a muscle strain Good stuff, yeah, real fun. Kills the threshold chances there on impact. And it's just like, I don't research and I fuck up. You know what, yeah, that's fair enough. But then I do the research and I still fuck up. It's like, maybe I'm the common denominator here. Like, in the words of Taylor Swift, hey, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm gonna get copyright strike now, aren't I? But okay, I've still got out and won some rewards. Fuck me, that is unnecessarily bright on my retinas. Fucking getting the shades on for this. What the fuck is up with the inverted color scheme all of a sudden? Make your mind up, sir. But okay, on the $5 of Ethereum from Limited Cap 240. Very lovely. Got a tier three and a tier two limited as well joining the account. It's all looking like fodder right now. I'm just gonna sell it all off to further my budget and my aspirations for a super rare team in the coming months. Every little helps and all of that jazz. But uh, yeah, fuck, if players could stop being announced as injured an hour before kickoff, that would be ideal. But okay, it's time for what I would call a truly exciting moment in the football calendar for me, and that, lads and ladies, is the return of the MLS. That's right, it's kicking off this weekend, and uh, yeah, I'm fucking ready. These lads are going straight into Champion America Rare. Obviously, the first game of the season can sometimes be a bit of an unknown quantity, but I'm quietly confident that all these fuckers will start for their respective teams. I've opted for Lima over Ring here in the extra spot, as Ring's appearances have been much more sporadic during preseason for Austin, whereas Lima is probably more nailed on to start. So yeah, can't wait to get that one fucking wrong. And then with Jerusi staying at Austin, I have Captain Fagundes as he will probably be getting a fuckload of assists for Jerusi this season. That's that's the hope anyway. And uh, yeah, I'd have to say overall, this is a fairly strong team, honestly. It's not like top end elite for the MLS, but it's really like quite strong upper quadrant and all of that. Now I am relying on Austin a lot here against St. Louis, Louis, St. Louis, Louis, which is a name, not a place. In, in fact, Austin is a name as well. But yeah, St. Louis will be right up for this on their debut game, so Austin will have to match that intensity from kickoff. But uh, yeah, I'm hopeful these lads will win me some nice rewards over the coming season. But uh, as they always say, it's, uh, it's the hope that kills you. And jumping over to cap 240 rare then, standard Millwall lads here. The issue with them lately, as you've seen earlier in the video, is the lack of decisives right now, but it's okay. Overall, Fleming has been playing well from Millwall. Long seems to have locked in that number one spot. So I'm thinking all of these lads should start this weekend with a nice Tobias Keynes of TSV Hartberg pigeonholed in there as my extra player. He has started the last two games with okay scores, I guess. So, uh, you know, he's just there to squeeze into the points cap and fingers crossed they can bang out 250 points or maybe even more. Even got this cap 220 rare team out, and uh, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's kind of a dog shit fucking team. I can definitely see Ring, Vogi, and Shiny Ashiki starting on the bench for their respective squads, but uh, you never know. This could be the year of Andre Shiny Ashiki. I've, I've got a shirt on for a reason because it's his season for scoring goals, and uh, y you know, so far for me, he has proven to to not do that a lot. It's been a, a very poor acquisition on my part, but uh, you know, I've, I've got the faith in my boy. So uh, yeah, let's let's go. Let's go shine your shiki, woo, let's, let's do soccer, yeah, nice. Back to Champion America then, but this time for the limited section, and oh, this team is slamming. Drusy and Gazdag headlining here. As I mentioned, Drusy recently signed a new long-term contract at Austin, so I'm glad I held onto his limited card here during the winter transfer window. The risk has paid off, and he will be captaining this very nice team this weekend over to All-Star Limited then, and it's, uh, it's kind of decent, I, I think. I mean, Foy did concede four goals to Mallorca last weekend, but that's all water under the metaphorical bridge as he partners Masip at the back there with Gil, then 
captaining the side and Armada and Carranza are alongside him. And uh, yeah, if all the players start for their clubs here, then this is definitely a lineup that can ascend into the lofty heights of the top 300. Champion Europe Limited is looking uh, a bit fucking weird, honestly, with no Diabala up top. My only other option here was Daniel Malin, who, uh, you know, to be fair, got a 70 last match, but uh, yeah, he doesn't fill me with confidence, but if he starts and has a good game combined with the Inter Milan lads here, then anything is possible, I guess. Challenger Europe, no Celtic this weekend. They've got their cup final against Rangers, so I've gone full Zagreb here today. I identify as a Croatian man, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's a simple case of if all players start here, then I've got a real chance of something special. A clean sheet is really needed though, and uh, you know, Livikovic doesn't quite get enough of them for me, so hopefully he 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 does one. That would that would wicka wicka be lovely. I've then got limited cap teams out for 220, 240, and 270, starting with 270, and nobody ever expects the Spanish Inquisition, but here it is, Boyata in between the sticks with a full Villarreal stack outfield. Might be a write-off as Moreno may still be injured, and Bayena was benched last game. Uh, you know, all of that on top of Villarreal being fucking shite at soccer at the moment. So uh, you, you, that kind of happened right as I purchased them as well. They're basically the Spanish Norwich for me. And uh, speaking of Norwich, they make up my outfield side in cap 220. Sargent is injured, so Ida should be starting up front, being their only fit recognised striker. Alisson obviously conceded five goals against Madrid in the Champions League midweek, so I'm hoping he bounces back, in which case this lineup may have a chance. And uh, yeah, the final lineup to close out the episode, going for those thresholds in cap 240 limited. Fucking mismatch of a lineup here, but all should be starting for their respective sides. Nunes had a banging game midweek for Norwich, and it'll be interesting to see how Gustavo Boo gets on this season. Bit of a strange one here, really, but hey, we will see what the lineup can do. And uh, you have to remember, really, I'm just a regular manager who happens to have a YouTube channel. Uh, well, well, regular is probably not the right word. I'm, I'm quite an E regular bloke, so maybe, maybe fucking casual is the word I'm looking for. Although that, that would be two words. So maybe, maybe casual. I'm, I'm a very casual manager. Yeah, we'll, we'll make that word up and go with that. Basically. What I'm trying to say here is that I don't have like an elite account winning tons of rewards every week, but uh, you know, as it stands, I think I'm standing in a decent place for the rest of 2023 with what I have. So uh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, and there was some midweek lineups I had out in game week 348. So let's go and have a quick gander there. Okay, um, it appears I am currently winning second division Europe rare with no games left to play. So, uh, yeah, yeah that, that's pretty good, right? Well, okay, you're gonna have to like and subscribe to stick around for the next episode of The Road to Glory to see my first ever so rare win. Yeah, I'll catch you cunts next time. Love you.